What's up everyone, my name is Luca and this is my three months on testosterone. So three months, I haven't noticed any huge changes. So let's go from head to toe. Hair has not changed, hairline hasn't receded, not that I've noticed. Eyebrows have thickened up quite a bit. I've been getting more acne for sure, but it's actually not been that bad these last few days. Like I haven't had any new um, really bad breakouts, so I'm pretty happy about that. Hey there, my name is Luca and welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Luca, and this is my voice, one month on testosterone. Hey, my name is Luca, and this is my voice, two months on testosterone. Hi, my name is Luca, and this is my voice, three months on testosterone. My mom said that my throat, like, looks bigger, because I, I, like, leaned back like this, and she made a note of it, I guess from the side. She said that this area just looked bigger or something. I don't know. I, I really have no idea. So I don't know if you can be the judge of that. Maybe my Adam's apple's grown. I haven't really paid attention. I've been getting a few chin hairs. They're just super blonde, but they are. There's like three or four, and they're pretty short, but I, I shave about once a month just to get rid of everything. But I might let it grow out a little bit because my uh, pedo stash is getting a little darker. As far as body goes, I think my arms have grown about a half inch, but that's about it. Nothing else in my body has changed so far. The muscle structure looks a little different, but it's nothing like super obvious. Just little things that I've noticed. I have been hungry. I don't think that's just, I don't think it's gonna change. I've just been hungry. <laughs> if you are family or friends, please uh, skip to this time right here. I'm about to talk about something personal that I don't want everybody else to know. So please respect that and move along. All right, so if you've remained, I'm assuming I don't know you very well and we don't know each other in person. Either that or you're an extremely close friend who doesn't mind knowing about what's going on in my pants. So bottom growth. I have had bottom growth. I don't know if it's like a lot bigger than last month. I'm not really sure. Not really something I pay attention to, but yeah, I have had bottom growth. I have been hornier. And okay, this is going to be kind of TMI, but I, I know that a, not a lot of people talk about it. So I'm going to talk about it just because I think that it's, it's a scientific thing and people need to know. So discharge is quite common and I have had like a ton. My pants are constantly wet. I have to change underwear a couple times a day just because my hormones are all changing and everything's changing and it smells different. So just know that like if you are starting hormones, that can happen and probably just buy extra underwear. Also, if you're having sensitivity with your junk, with your underwear, buy the more spandexy type, the really soft kind, because it'll be a lot less likely to irritate that area. I guess the biggest change that has happened this month is something that didn't happen actually, and uh, I'm gonna use language here, so if it triggers you, then probably click away or cover your ears. I have not gotten my period this month, so that is the biggest change. I don't know if that's permanent or not, but I hope it is, because that would be great. Other than my leg hair getting darker and me having more hair in general, I really have not noticed very much. I, I tried really hard to never hyper focus on my transition. I'm really glad I haven't because I feel like I would just be seeing changes that aren't actually happening. You know, people, I think they, they tend to focus too much on what they think is going to happen or what they know is going to happen. And then they start to like try to see it really hard, even though it might not be happening yet. And I just don't want to do that to myself. And I want to be as honest with you guys as possible. Like I have not noticed a whole bunch of changes and that's okay. I'm not in a rush to get everything happening all at once. It's a natural thing and it just, it needs to be slow and take its time. That's honestly it. I have not had a lot of changes this month and I'm totally fine with that. Thank you for watching, and if nobody's reminded you recently, you're worthy and you deserve good. Bye.